a doctor's daughter who dreamed of one day becoming a paramedic. 20-year-old India Chipchase had been on a night out in Northampton. CCTV captures her on a phone, alone, outside a club. That's when Edward Tenniswood moves in. India is upset, drunk and separated from her friends. More than 30 years older than her, Tenniswood claimed she made the first move. But here, his face close to hers, he's seen conjoling her. He was over her telling India he'd get her home safe. Eventually, he lures her to a taxi, the last time India was seen alive. Described as a fantasist and a loner, this is the house where Tenniswood lived and where India died. His possessions covered in plastic and the bedroom where he said they'd shared a loving evening. Tenniswood claimed he'd killed India by accident, but after he'd raped and murdered her, he didn't call an ambulance and instead went drinking at a nearby hotel. It was there that police arrested him the next day. He told them, I suppose you've been to the house, you found what you're looking for. Today, Edward Tenniswood was jailed for a minimum of 30 years, police describing him as the worst kind of predator. As for his victim, it was left to India's father to describe the family's grief. Speaking from a father's perspective, I do not want any other father to hear that her daughter has gone missing like I did. And then for them to hear she's been found dead. No other father will have to see their daughter's body in the mortuary and be told they are unable to touch her or kiss her one last time. No other father will have to carry her coffin into a church with his son. And no other father will have to see her mother and siblings grief at the church service.